right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? I got a whole pass tonight. It is a Thursday night. We are fishing. We're back at the <laughs> we're back at the place that I've been catching most of my fish lately. Um, thanks to my beautiful wife for being totally understanding of this being more than just a hobby. This is fishing is as much a part of me as my left and my right hand. I mean, it is what it is, especially fishing at night. And she understands it. She uh, she understands I'm just not me unless I'm fishing. So. We both agreed that probably be best to go out Thursday night tonight instead of, you know, going out Friday night and being dead for the rest of the weekend. So at least I could recuperate tomorrow. Luckily, I only work four days a week. So, you know, hopefully we get a few more hybrids tonight. That was pretty cool to catch something different last week. So, uh, yeah, let's get to fishing. Stick around. We're going to catch some fish. Oh, and uh, same as last weekend, we're using a new... Uh, Cash Prodigy 4.1 uh, inch in pearl color. This lure's a beast. I mean, after an hour of fishing the other night, we, we completely changed over to these and finished out the night throwing nothing but these. So these are a proven producer to me because as soon as the fish see them, they jump on them. They don't even hesitate. My, they were swimming past my brother's fluke to grab these. So <laughs> half the time away, I didn't even have to reel. It just hit the water and they grabbed it. No action, no nothing. But, uh, and they're durable. They hold up really well to multiple fish. I think, uh, the other night I had five or six stripers on one before I had to change it out. So, yeah, it's a it's a good lure. I like it. Um, it's proven itself worthy to be on my boat for sure. And uh, probably pretty much all we're going to throw tonight is the Cast Prodigy 4.1. Um, if I find some hybrids under a certain light, I might go to the smaller size just to get more bites. But, you know, other than that, this Prodigy is pretty much the whole night. I see something swimming through the light. Most likely a striper. I haven't caught no bass here yet. Stripers. There's a good one right there right now. Gotta wait for him to turn around so he sees the lure. Prodigy 4.1, baby. It's, it's a proven fish catcher. I would tell you all to run out and buy them, but then there won't be none at the store for me. This has the potential to be a big fish. I don't know. I've been fooled by some fish in this lake already this winter. But this brother ain't moving, man. This is the one we want to see right here. Still, still even it is everything, man. Come on. Come on, what you got, buddy? Come on. I'll take the game there at you, pal. See him in a second, I hope. Man, I think this is a big fish. I don't, I don't really want to make myself look stupid on camera, but he's got some weight. And he don't like to move. He doesn't want to come up, that's for sure. Got to see him, you know. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. 
Get digging in the net. My net's too small. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Well, not really, but you know. He wasn't coming out, that's for sure. That's my best fish of the winter right there. I mean, I guess we could get a oh, 15. There he is. Nice fish. I got it on a wide angle lens, so it's probably gonna make the fish look stupid, <laughs> but there he is. Beautiful. First fish of the night. <laughs> Love it. And there he goes. got a homeowner's dog barking inside the house. So all we need is them to come out and see me down here and shut it off. Cast prodigy, buddy. Well, folks, it was bound to happen eventually. I've had this late to myself all winter so far. But tonight there's another boat out here and he's sitting on my favorite light. And there ain't but three on the whole lake, so. I guess we're gonna, there's a light on over here that ain't usually on. We'll see. I might creep up on him and go kind of hit at him like, hey man, how long you plan on staying out here tonight? Just curious. <laughs> but uh, I had a good run. I chose Thursday because I was hoping there'd be no competition out here. And there is, but oh well. Let's see what we can catch over here. I'm sad now. <laughs> Man, he smacked that as soon as it hit the water. Dang it. <laughs> oh, man, dude. I think they might be little hybrids, but that's okay. I came prepared to catch a little hybrids tonight. Matter of fact, I was kind of looking forward to it. It's a little one, whatever it is. <laughs> is it a hybrid? I don't know. Just a second. No, it's a striker. You know, if it's a hybrid, it'd be kind of cool at least. Strike bass. Little guy. Hi, little guy. Another one. Three for tonight. 
think I might break the card and we'll go talk to this guy. I'm really curious to see if he plans on staying out here all night. But if he does, then I'm gonna head back over towards the main body of water. Throw some bombers on some points and then go check that other light periodically. Because I think this light's mostly got smaller fish on it. Life gives you lemons. You got a big lemonade. All right. Well, we came over here and we talked to the gentleman. He actually turned out to be a pretty nice guy. Uh, lives on the lake, fishes quite a bit, just like I do at night, and uh, pretty much got the same game plan that I do. <laughs> um, he's actually going to take his dog for a walk, so he said he's going to be off of these lights for about an hour or so. So I told him, "You mind if I come and cast at him for a little bit? I'll try to figure I'll give it 30, 40 minutes, and then I'll get out of here." Let him cool off a bit for him and then let him come back and get back on his uh, pattern. You know, I ain't greedy. Man was here first. Had to take his dog for a walk. I can respect that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's catch a fish before we get back. You know, I'm still contemplating just packing up and heading to that other lake. I really am. Another fatty hybrid. Boom! <laughs> These little things are fun to catch. There ain't no if and buts about it. And I can tell why Robert eats and went over to Lake Alatoona. <laughs> They're a blast. That other lake is chock full of these things. We might have to take off and go fish that other lake. But then again, maybe not. We're catching them here, so why? We are back at the place where we started at. See if we can uh, get another big striper. The gentleman I spoke to. <clears throat> The gentleman I spoke to earlier, it looked like, I don't know, he was behind me for quite a while. I thought he was heading this way. I guess he knows there's something else I don't. He's a local, so I'm, I'm sure he does know about another light I don't. But I thought I'd check this lake over pretty good. and kind of got a feel for what lights are on and what lights aren't on. So, I mean, God bless him if he's got another one. I'll find it eventually. <laughs> That's what I do. I night fish. This is this is my uh, this is my office here. Singing drags in the dark. That's the song of my people. <laughs> Let's see if we can't bust a monster here. We're due. We're due for a fish over 20 pounds. That, that we are. You know, I started out this winter a little lukewarm. You know, just fishing here, fishing there. Decided I was gonna do the YouTube thing. And since then, I've been pretty consistent. I'm only fishing once a week, but I mean, I'm I'm putting in the work when I'm out here. I'm doing, you know, six, seven hour trips. You know, I'm married now, so I can't do the five, six nights a week fishing like I used to. So I just gotta do one long trip and get my fill in when I'm out here. You know, you got a beautiful wife at home. It's uh, it's not cool to leave her alone multiple nights during the week. She says she's okay with it, but I don't care if she's okay with it. I want to be home. But, you know, I finally found something I love as much as fishing, and that's her. So, 
I've been fishing my whole life. I, I, I just, I didn't know her my whole life, so I'd like to, you know, spend as much of the remainder of my life with her as I can, while still pursuing my passion of fishing, you know. You gotta get a good cast here, because there's some big fish there. He ain't no giant, but he looks like a decent fish. I want him to turn around first before I get this cast. Come on out, buddy. Come on out. I gotta make this cast count. I really do. I didn't get him. There he is. Let's see if we get that big one. But it's a fish. Nonetheless, and I don't have my chest to go on you, dumb bum. I stick on it. And another one. Throw it. Let's see. Okay. Time to change that. <laughs> Who's down here? Let me get that little break for a minute. Really wish Oakwood had more today. Dang. 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 Only got one more left. 
I haven't thrown the uh, the bigger version of the blue moon color yet, but you know, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of mentality, you know. But it's about to be broken, and we might have to fix it. So, and I'm a firm believer in getting your presentation right, you know, getting your lower perfectly straight on the hook because you know you're throwing something fake so you want to give yourself the best odds to convince fish to hit it and if that means taking extra time to make sure your lure is threaded on the hook perfect you well know, take that extra time you know i mean it can't hurt <laughs> Say what I want to say right now. Probably uh, get banned from YouTube. Well, I I really hope that what just happened was captured on film correctly. I, I had my camera in time warp for some reason and wide angle lens as well. So wide angle lens distorts fish. Unfortunately, if I'm off to the side, the fish looks huge. If I'm right in front of the camera, the fish looks small. It's just what it is. I mean, anybody that deals with cameras knows that. I'm not trying to make excuses for my fish, but I just caught an eight and a half pound largemouth. It was eight pound, 8.46 or something like that. And uh, I had my thing in uh, hyperlapse time, the stop motion and whatnot. So there's no audio, I don't think. And it's all sped up. God, what do you mean? I like to fish, man. This is what I do. I fish at night. I love it. People always ask me, why do you fish at night, Terry? Well, I say, well, you know, it's... It's simpler. You're, to the, you're, you're down to the bare basics, the root of it. There's nothing else to occupy your mind or distract you. It's you, your rod, the fish, the lake map, and uh, determination. And another thing, I personally feel, and my grandfather had the same feeling, that big fish make more mistakes when it's dark out. They let their guard down. They're not as wary. They're not expecting it, you know? They don't get their, bane, their, their brains beat out every night like they do during the day. With, you know, guys pulling bait, flat lines, trolling, umbrella rigs, and, you know, they don't deal with this kind of stuff at night, you know? At most, at night, there's, a, you know, maybe a dozen to two dozen people on the lake fishing for stripers max. And that's when it's warm out. In the middle of the winter, it's maybe like... It's been quite a few times I was quite certain I was the only one out there. Many, 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 many times. <laughs> but... Yeah, there's, there's a caliber of fish that goes bump in the night that you just don't have a chance at during the day with artificial. That's the way I feel about it. It's almost time to get back to catfishing and, uh, you know, summertime bass fishing, so... That'll fire up sooner than later. Might even, uh, throw our you know, hat in a tournament at night, one of these nights. I'm always wanted redemption. I, I fished one night tournament on Lake Lanier and uh, it was a pretty pathetic night. We bombed out really bad. <laughs> it wasn't even, uh... <laughs> we were never in it, we'll just say that much. It was just a disaster from where to go. We got out there, um, trolling motor battery was dead. 
or excuse me, thought it was dead. It was actually just a bad connection, but I went for a while assuming it was dead. And then I just thought to myself, I was like, there's no way, it just can't be dead. And I went back and fiddled with it. And yeah, after we wasted an hour and a half, you know, driving with the main motor, shutting it off and drift fishing for bass, which works oh so well. The, uh, finally had batteries back. Then we went fishing, I mean, we, we bombed out really hard. My buddy on the boat, he caught one bass. And I caught one little bass that wasn't even legal. And he caught one bass that was legal, but this bass would have been a four pounder any other time of the year or any other time in his life except for this one time because this was the most sickliest bass I'd ever seen. And it stunk, like the bass smelled rot, you know? I was like, dude, I was like, I, I would, I'd quit fishing before I took that fish to a weigh-in. Let's just put it that way. I mean, not only that, that fish pound and a half on a four pound, uh, you know, skeleton. Oh my God, it was, it was such a sad fish. <laughs> I was like, that's the one fish we could muster the whole night. With one that was, I, I did the fish that, you know, did suicide by fishermen, I really do. <laughs> but yeah, that was, uh, that was my one bass tournament. Striper tournaments, you know, we at least come close in that one. Try to make an account of yourself. Just go quietly into that night, man. Take it to him. Bring the fight to them. That's what I say. I'm gonna break out the old duo. Yeah, I ordered some uh, duo realist baits. Uh, Two months ago, I think it was now, and uh, still haven't gotten them yet. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. It turned out they were shipped from Sri Lanka or something like that. And, uh, took forever for them to get released by customs. Then they sat in Chicago for another month. And uh, now they're on their way. And now it's getting shipped by FedEx. So Lord only knows when we'll see it, if we ever do. hook set on him. Doesn't feel like a giant, but you know, doesn't feel like a bad fish either. Yeah, who says you need lights, man? I don't need no lights. brawler over here. <laughs> this dude's serious. Oh, that's a good fish. I think I might have hooked him on the top of his head. I think that's that might be what we're fighting here. Yeah. But still. Fish. None. Of them. Really is just a little too small for stripers. <laughs> just a little bit. Good thing it was just wasn't coming off. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. We got another one, boys. 
that's the first striper in a while, but um caught in the dark. No lights and uh got him. <laughs> I'm awake again. Folks, that is it. I am done, and I mean I am done on both sides, completely well done. Uh, better get a real sharp knife because I'm I'm pretty tough. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the last time I stayed up this many hours. I got up yesterday at 4:30 in the morning, and I'm still up right now, and it is 11:21. So what's that? That's 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 31 hours. That's 31 hours I've been up straight. <laughs> Uh, we had a good night fishing. Uh, I've had better nights. I've had worse nights. We did get a big old bass tonight, which was pretty awesome. I'm, you know, largemouth bass at heart, man. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is all you get. You get a still picture because somebody had the camera in time warp mode and record it and fast forward with absolutely no audio in wide angle lens on top of it all. So the fish was distorted, the audio wasn't there, and it was in fast forward. Like, stop motion, it was horrible. So I'm just going to throw up a couple stills. I'm pretty disappointed about it, but it was a nice bass. Unfortunately, somebody shanked the recording. That is all. Did catch a pretty de decent striper to start the night. Caught a pretty decent striper to close the night. Um, lost a good striper, broke one off, and lost another decent-sized fish. I'm not saying they were giants, but they were, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 pounders maybe, a little bit bigger. Uh... Yeah, so overall, good night. The problem was uh, some other boaters showed up. I've had this place to myself for most of the winter so far, and uh, I haven't had to compete with anybody out there for dock lights or spots to fish. But tonight I did. There were multiple fishermen that showed up tonight, so I guess my uh, my exclusive exclusivity or whatever the word I'm looking for, uh, exclusive access to this lake of uh, my own personal playground is now over. So, I don't know, probably gonna have to look for somewhere else to fish because I don't like uh, fighting people for the few available spots to fish. So, anywho, it was a good night. Uh, there's a whole lot I could recap. Uh, the, let's see, the Cash Prodigy 4.1 bait still produced uh, good fish as, as they have been. The problem is I didn't have enough of them, so I ran out part way through the night. Um, the fluke still catches fish. I threw the mega fluke out there tonight and caught fish. So, I mean, you know, the fish are fight biting pretty good right now. You throw anything white and rubbery, you'll probably catch a striper. <laughs> yep. Okay, so that's it. Um, I got to take a nap in the truck before I leave. Uh, I figure I'll probably sleep for about two hours. Then I got a two-hour drive home, and I got to try to explain to my wife how I'm getting home the same time she is from the day before. <laughs> Ah, oh, I love that woman. She puts up with a lot. I, I am a handful. Um, they don't make her any better than her. I can guarantee you that, people. Um, that's all I got, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Same old jazz. Uh, if you turn on the notifications, you'll get notified when I post a video. Uh, I should have a good series of videos coming up soon because uh, I got a lot of a lot of video to edit. I got a lot of video to edit from last night. Still hasn't fished the one from the other day. Still haven't fished the one from the day before that. So it shouldn't be any lulls in uh, videos for a while. But, yep, yeah, other than that, man, over and out is Jersey Cat. We caught fish, we came, we saw, we did the deed.